Auckland, we have a problem on our roads. Hundreds of our mokopona and tamariki are living with life-changing injuries due to serious crashes on our region's roads. Too many are losing their lives. Major crashes on our region's roads have devastating consequences for whānau, friends and communities. And while it's true that people make mistakes on our roads every day, those mistakes can easily lead to death or serious injury. But they don't have to. Weather and vehicle conditions also play their part in road incidents, but regardless of our driving skills, it is the speed at which our vehicle is travelling that dictates whether people will walk away from the crash or are carried away. If we get hit by a car at 50 km an hour, the chances of us dying are 4 to 5 times higher than if we were hit at 30 km an hour. If our car hits someone at 30 km an hour, the chance of dying is just 10%. So safe speeds can reduce the likelihood of a crash and the potential for serious injuries. Because we are human and we make mistakes, collisions will still happen. But we are working very hard to make these collisions survivable by setting safe speed limits. Because no death or serious injury should be acceptable. As well as the human tragedy and economic loss, road trauma also makes people feel unsafe. This feeling can cause people to stop doing normal things, like letting their kids walk or cycle to school. Reducing speeds to 30 km an hour in built up areas like towns and city centres or around schools can lower traffic noise by up to 40%. Living in a quiet area is great for overall health and well-being, especially for children and older people. 30 km an hour zones make it safer and easier to cycle or walk to local shops. And more people walking and cycling means more business for the local area. An increase in people walking also brings social benefits, as we get to know each other and look out for one another. When we walk around our neighbourhood, there is a greater chance of meeting others and making friends. This can help reduce feelings of social isolation. The health benefits of walking are obvious, but the impact on our environment can be massive. We can reduce carbon emissions by walking and cycling to school or work. And reducing traffic to 30 km an hour on some of our streets outside schools and in some town centres can have an immediate effect on the health of the residents as air quality improves due to less exhaust fumes being emitted. As you can see, setting safe speeds around some schools or town centres to 30 km an hour and to 60 or 80 km in some rural zones will have benefits that reach far and wide. To find out more, visit at.govt.nz forward slash speed.